the way that I use that setup out there for, for the general public that uses Bass University. And so far, I've got a lot of great feedback. Hey, man, that was a great video. Thank you for doing that. And, uh, because it's it's one of those things that it's not a well-used technique. Not It's not as... It's not a spinner bait, right? It's something different, and that's uh, that's part of what y'all do is bring those unique and different techniques to your customers. And that is, that's awesome, and that's what we do. And we're going to talk about one right now, as yep. a matter of fact, oh, yeah. because I see a really cool bait that um, that that is shocking to me because. I'm just hearing about this for the first time. It's been out for a little while, though. Yeah. What do we have here? This is the Spro Zero Minnow 130, part of their Essential Series. It's a shallow running wake bait, minnow style wake bait. Pretty heavy little bait, you can throw it a long way. The thing that I really like about it, you hear that it's really, really loud, and that's what I really like in a wake bait, is to get that really loud noise in the clear water that loud noise draws those fish from a long ways away. And what I've watched through the years on Table Rock and Bull Shoals with that bait, if you get a single fish, he's gonna get attracted to that sound and that motion of that bait going across the surface. But when you get a wolf pack or you get those second or third fish showing up, that's when you get those really vicious strikes. And dude, it's, there's nothing more exciting than a wake bait bite for me. You know, maybe frog fishing a little bit, but that wake bait bite when there's a whole, you know, six, seven, or eight fish trying to eat that bait, super exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Especially when you can see, you know, you can literally look out there and see all those fish. Right, on the, on the White River chain, yeah, you oh, can yeah. see 10 feet down, so you can see them coming. Oh, for sure, you know, you can, you can be in a little cove where it's protected from the wind, you can sling that thing out there on 12 pounds of sunline monofilament and just start watching it come back and you'll just see these fish materialize out of, off the bottom. And you can look and see the bottom, but you don't see the fish until, you, until they actually pull up. And it's just it's just an incredible way to, uh, to get some really vicious strikes in that I, clear water. I have a few questions. Okay. This is uh, in the family of wake baits, and, and then I've been in that situation where this bait is like the seemingly the only way to get them to react oh yeah you know and um uh, out there in some flw tournaments on beaver lake one that comes to mind um why why this style why like why does this excel over the more um i guess shorter compact wake baits uh why why does this variety seem to work better you know, in, in my opinion, I think it's just something that more imitates a dying shad or injured shad coming across the surface. If you notice, you, you watch our new glide baits. Those glide baits, they have that subtle side-to-side -side action. Same thing, but it's sitting on the top. And uh, actually, funny story, Steve Kennedy, when we were at Gunnersville, saw him in practice. He fires out one of these, a different brand, but it was... Still a wake bait, something to stay up above the grass. He had his dog with him, and the dog started just going crazy, and he's trying to hide the fish from me that he caught on it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those baits that, that I think it imitates a bigger shad that's, right. that's injured coming across the surface. And that's the, that for me, that's what I use it for. And then when the water temperature gets about 55 to 58 in the spring is when I'll start bringing it out. And it's not every day that they'll eat it. Is, is that like pre-spawn? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're, we're in that early top water bite before they ever start spawning. They'll come up and just absolutely annihilate. And the information Bash University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.